What is up YouTube, Coin Whisperer here, your source for crypto news, views, and reviews, and in this one we're really just going to dive deep into what Substratum is. If you missed the video yesterday, I talked about, I gave a brief overview of what Substratum is and why we need a decentralized web, and then I went into why I'm investing into Substratum right now. So let's just get right into this video. So a quick overview of what Substratum is. Basically, Substratum allows for anybody to become a node on the decentralized web. And as a node, you, you are the host for the websites on the decentralized web. This allows for a free, uncensored internet, just like how the internet's supposed to be. So just taking a quick look at the, how the network works. So basically, uh, new sites are added to the decentralized web. And whenever a visitor comes and tries accessing a site on the web, uh, a node serves that request and displays it to the viewer. It's a pretty simple concept but there's very complex processes that go on to allow this, for, allow this to happen. So with that said, let's see how the network actually works. So Substratum, like I said, allows for anybody to become a node on the Substratum network. And the only technical knowledge you need in order to become a node is just to be able to go to the website, download the software to become a node, and then go onto their really easy to use interface, allocate how much computing power you want to, uh, allocate for running your node and then turn your node on and that's it. Once the nodes are up and running, when someone tries accessing a website on the decentralized web, it'll use the uh, visitor's location and geolocate the closest node to them that can service that request. When a node services a request, it gets paid in microtransactions of substratum. So that's the incentive for running a node. And also when nodes are servicing the request from the visitor, it's not one single node that is doing this. The network actually pins multiple different nearby nodes in order to make it almost impossible to be able to locate a node and for a government entity or some other private entity to come in and shut down that node. So this allows for people in, let's say, China to be able to run nodes without fearing prosecution from the government. So the big kicker is Websites now will be paying on a pay-per-use basis on the Substratum network. And how it's currently done for uh, normal web hosting companies is if you want to get your website hosted by a web hosting company, you have to pay them a flat rate. And say your websites are getting more popular, you have to pay them more based on how much traffic you're getting. But Substratum allows the web hosting cost to be drastically reduced since you only pay on a pay per use basis for your website. So let's say you're getting not you're not getting too much traffic to your website. You're not gonna have to pay that flat rate that's definitely gonna be over the cost of what it costs to host your website. Currently they don't know how much uh, a person's gonna have to pay in order for the website to be hosted, but they've guaranteed that it'll definitely be less than the cost to host a website on Amazon Web Services. So that's basically how the Substratum network will work. So let's look at how this can become mass adopted. So the team really understands that in order for mass adoption, the product must be user friendly. Is you can have a great product, but if people don't know how to use it, it's never going to be used. So that's why in order to get on or in order to be a node on the Substratum network, all you have to do is download one software and basically click a few buttons and you become a node. And to be able to uh, surf the web, like the decentralized web, you don't need to download any special browsers or anything like that. You can just do it from Google Chrome or Firefox and stuff, and those type of browsers. And the best part is when companies want to host their website on the decentralized web, they don't need to change the domain names. And that really caters towards big companies because a big company is not going to want to have something like www.microsoft.substratum.com because that's just not going to look good for the company. So them not having to change their domain names is a big plus for uh, adoption by companies and other people who want to host their websites on the decentralized web. One thing that not too many people talk about when they're talking about Substratum is what they're going to implement for their payment processing, and that is crypto pay. When you think of crypto pay, you should just basically think of PayPal. Crypto pay allows for visitors to a website to pay for services or products in cryptocurrencies. And how this works is the consumer picks which cryptocurrency they want to use 
and that cryptocurrency gets converted into the substratum token, and that substratum token gets converted into fiat currency, and it pays the uh, person offering the service or the product, whichever company is doing that. And that is a big plus for the substratum token because it adds further utility to the token. It's also going to be really easy to use, as you can see by this little diagram. It's just going to be basically like using PayPal and stuff like that. And uh, the Substratum team says that basically any website hosted on Decentralized Web will be able to integrate the crypto payment uh, payment solutions onto their website. So whenever you research any cryptocurrency and you're looking to invest into it, you should always look a little bit into the team and who they are and what they've accomplished. So let's look at the team for Substratum. So the team is actually a US-based software development firm and their past clients they've worked for include Apple, Facebook, Disney, HP, and other Fortune 100 companies. And this firm has been together for 13 years, which I think for a, a project this big and complex, you really need a team that's been together and knows how to work together in order to really get the product out because if another cryptocurrency company comes out and tries to do the same thing, but they just hire developers all over the world that never work together, there's going to be some friction at the start and it actually might lead to a subpar product. And the team itself consists of 22 members, which are made up of developers, designers, architects, and project managers. I personally think this team is probably one of the best suited to take on a project of this magnitude. If you go and watch their last developer AMA, the second one, you can just really see the professionalism with them. I mean, they joke around and like to have fun, but they really know what they're talking about and they have you can tell that they've launched products before and they really have a cohesive unit. And like I said before, this company really understands that in order for a, any product to be mass adopted, it has to be easy to use and they're utilizing things like focus groups and small closed betas to really fine tune their product before they release their version one, which is basically their open beta uh, somewhere within the next month or two. So if you couldn't tell by now, I really think the Substratum project is great and I think the team can really accomplish their goal of creating the decentralized web. This is definitely one of the most ambitious product projects in the crypto space, but if anybody can do it, I feel like this team can do it. If you want more information over the Substratum project and if it's a good investment or not, check out my last video over Substratum. Uh, I really dive into both those topics. And before I sign off, I just want to thank all my subscribers for all the support and the kind comments you're leaving me. It really motivates me to make better and better videos and to keep producing content for you guys. That's it for this one guys. If you liked the video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Coin Whisperer signing off. Peace.